So I'm here with Elias from lasermapmaker.com. So Elias, thanks for taking the time. Tell me a little bit about your, your online software. So we created the software because there's a problem with creating maps in the market. It just takes a really long time to try to get the files from Google Maps or a different data source to take them and parse them apart and put them in your editor and then do further editing. Stuff like cutting roads out, they're typically pretty small and so they can break and fall apart. Post-processing basically is, is kind of a nightmare. If you're brand new, you're lost immediately, you're intimidated, and it's just really difficult to, to get into. And so I decided to make some software to make it a little bit easier. I started out with a very basic application, made it free, grabbed the feedback, made a version two with better feedback. After the third version, I co-founded with my brother Isaiah. We went ahead and we built this awesome map here that we have today, and we're very proud of it. We think it solves the big problem that map making for laser engraving has. You used to have to pay to go get files, and somebody would take a few days to trace them for you, and we can do this in a matter of minutes. Maybe your first time on Laser Map Maker, it takes you 15 to 30 minutes to set up the right line widths and the right features for each of your layers, but you can then reuse those over and over and over again. The next time you go in and you make a different map, it's minutes. And you can export as SVG, EPS, PDF, PNG. You can trace or you can just fill. Even people in the sublimation industry are starting to use it. That's really neat. What would you say the learning curve is for someone who, you know, is just getting started? We've definitely seen from the very beginning part of launch, there was some initial confusion. We have now geared the feedback in the last three months, especially to make it more intuitive for people to walk in. We have a couple tutorials. We are getting a lot better about making better videos that encompass what you can do in a nutshell without overloading the, the new user with information. <laughs> And we have a library of snippets. Rather than trying to make a two hour video, how cool our software is, you can just go in, mess around if you get lost for a sec. What's a map scale? Why do we have it? We explain all that. You'll hear my voice on there, talk about that, show it in the studio. So I'd say learning curve if you've never done it. You need to know the basic initial layer setup for like a physical map, which is usually just land, water, and roads. In a nutshell, there's a lot of other cool things you can do, but that's the main. So once you understand there's land, water, and roads, you can just go in the software, kind of like on other design software is like Adobe. You have layers. You can build layers on top of layers. It's the same thing in this. We set it up to where each file is a layer. Each layer has features of maps, of the map data that you would like. For instance, I guess we can show off maybe something like this. Right. And this right here, this white on top is like a roads cut layer. And we built a layer just for this and we put the features of like I think it's called primary roads under that layer and the second layer we did in two files but it's actually one physical layer so you have the, the cutout which is land cut and then these engravings which is secondary and tertiary roads those are land engrave is what we call them yep. you can call them roads engrave whatever you need to remember it the layers are, are kind of arbitrary names and then in the very back it's probably hard to see there's one final layer which is water water yep yep and the water we don't charge for water. It's just the bottom piece. The bottom piece does not have any special cutouts except for the aspect and ratio of what the actual piece you're doing is. And this is actually one big map right here. This so one this is, is all one connect big. connected, cut into different pieces. If someone wanted to put it on the wall, they could do some really cool spacing. Absolutely. And uh, it's a definitely nice art piece. So real quick, July 2024, this is actually something we're just showcasing at the conference. Not yet live, but this is something we've used on our unreleased version to create this big map, City of London. And one thing we realized is there's a lot of people with desktop lasers and they might want to make a cool big map for maybe they're doing a restaurant and the restaurant's going to pay them a bunch of money to do it or they want to do some really cool art piece on their wall or whatever. You don't have to have a big laser to do that now. We do not charge any extra for that. So every layer costs a credit, which is a common question. And so once you get your map done, you can then go ahead and break it apart in rows and columns and it won't cost you any extra. Even though technically, like in this case, you're making eight different maps, Right. it will still cost you three credits. Do you have any new features on the horizon? Horizon that you've been Ooh. poking around at that are anything down the pipeline that's in, in the works? Yeah, good question. So besides segmentation, which is coming up, which has been kind of a big hot topic question people have had is bathymetry and topography. We've released a very basic version of topography. When I say it's basic, it's because you don't have control over elevation steps and contour lines. Yeah, can you explain that a little bit just for uh, topography and what, what you mean by that? Like in, in, sure. Bring it down. 
Yes, absolutely. So like topography, there's different elevation contour lines. And if somebody wanted to know, make a cool map with a mountain and they wanted to be every thousand feet, we currently do not offer a way to put in that specific number, but we do have a preset contour lines that get exponential as it goes down. You're playing around with that. I think that was one of my questions. Yes. I want to do lakes and I want to show how deep the lake goes. Yeah. And so bathymetry, it's a, it's a whole different animal. We We've looked into it pretty deep. The reason why people pay big money like in GIS to get somebody to pull that data is because they have to load that data themselves, right? And it's it's not an easy process. To make it user-friendly in Laser Map Maker is going to take time. We want to make sure that the stuff that we currently do have works very well and the customers are very satisfied. Beth imagery is what we're aiming for. It's probably going to be Q1 2025. Topography is closer to Q4 2025. The whole goal of Laser Map Maker is really to make sure that once your files are exported, you're ready to cut and engrave. Nice. We're cutting that whole process down by a, a landslide. Very cool. Yeah. And I guess last but not least, where can people find your software? Your, your I think they have a trial. And then uh, do you have a YouTube page where they can watch some tutorials as well? So like on our website, lasermapmaker.com, mm -hmm. we do have lasermapmaker.com slash docs. You can find the actual tutorials that we currently have. There's more to come. You'll probably see me. I'm going to actually just start making some really cool stuff from start to finish, even outside of the studio, like just showing the process. You can find this on YouTube, Laser Map Maker. We are growing, so there's not a whole lot there right now. So we, we did notice, like right off the bat, people, they had a lot of questions on like, well, how come I can't just pay once and download this program and keep it forever? And we currently do not offer that because of the ongoing costs associated with the current map data we get to make sure that it's most up to date as we can get it. Nice. Monthly and annual plans are available. Two week trial period for you so that you can cancel anytime. Cool. Thanks for taking the time to talk to me, man. Yeah. Thank All you. Right. Appreciate right. it. Thanks. All right.